Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I want to talk about two dimensional arrays, which are very important topic in C language. So here, one of the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the dev C++. I'm using the um, uh, compiler with the name of dev C++. If you watched my previous video, you have seen um, some example for the arrays in the introduction and um, hope that in this video, I want to talk um, some in more detail and some a bit um, uh, comparatively a bit difficult um, um, way of doing it as compared to the previous video so i named that said that to be 2d underscore array that's the name of the file just created with that all right so here i'm going to do is to do is to create the uh, two-dimensional array and remember that once we are creating two-dimensional array here um, i'm using the two variables with the name of um, int and uh, i'm giving the array name to be arr that's fine and here I'm using the two brackets, which are for the, which are basically for the rows and columns, which shows an array. So here I'm using the two rows and three, co uh, three columns, right? So this is for basically I have created an array, which is a contagious memory of allocation, uh, where we can store multiple uh, values, uh, so of different types in inside an array. So uh, here I'm just uh, declaring uh, my array with the name of, with the data type of integer. And the next thing I'm going to do is to create the two variables. And the first one is I, and the second one is for J, which is for the, basically, this I is for the rows, and this J is for the column. All right, so here I'm using to create the for loop. I equal initialize with the zero. I is less than, um, I is less than two, and I plus plus, all right? So the reason why I have, um, uh, the reason why I have here, I less than two because here I have the I have specified my size to be two, so I cannot um, init uh, I cannot iterate my array more than values two like zero and one are basically two values. All right, so here I want to create another inside the another we are using nested for loop here I'm using for which starts from j equal to zero and ends at j ends at um, three which basically holds the three values from 0, 1, and 2. And there we have the brackets. So inside that, we have to, first I'm going to initialize uh, some values from the user, like um, enter values of array. All right. And then I want to set that to be, that's fine. Now I want to scan the values as well. So for the scan values, I'm using percentage d for the integer and here I'm using the array with the name of arr and for the i inside that we have to use i and j so remember that whatever we are going to um, uh, whatever we are going to input from the user this j is for the column and remember that and this i is for the rows so whenever we are going to initialize the nested for loop always the way is that the internal loop first execute then the outer loop uh, and then the outer loop uh, works like for example if this j is 0 until this j is not less than 3 it will continuously increment that and once this condition becomes uh, uh, true uh, when this condition becomes uh, when, once j is less than 3 the outer loop start working so that's the way how the things are working in the in the in case of the uh, nested for loop now we have to display array elements so for that I need to create some two-dimensional array so I just said that to be 2d array and here for I is equal to 0 and that I is less than 2 I plus plus and just for the same case for j is because we are basically showing the rows and columns so here for, for the to display element we also use need to use the two dimensional array so here j is 0 and j is less than 3 we cannot hold and hold more than three values and j plus plus and inside we have to use another parentheses and inside those parentheses um, I'm uh, I using the printf statement and here sorry outside inside that percentage D 
and uh, here the name of an array which is ARR for the I and for the J all right uh, that's fine okay so I think so that's fine now if I tries to if I try to execute that um, yeah that's fine okay it says that so it shows some error because we haven't put the semicolon and let's see now enter values of array 1 2 3 4 5 6 sorry but I, I forget what was the output so 1 2 3 4 5 6 but the issue is that it's not looking in a good way so I use a condition here that if the j like the condition here if j is equal to equal to 2 that means that that if the internal loops um, is equal to equal to 2 that means that we have uh, uh, that we, that means that the internal loop it has been completed so uh, we we use some uh, backslash and means that we need some uh, we need that the next loop outer loop will move for the next line so that looks even more brighter so now um, actually I don't know what's going on it says if J is equal to equal to 2 what to happen I don't know that undefined reference to print all right so I forget to bring F here now in order to execute that um, here you see interval is for the array now it looks even more better way like one two three four five six so even more make it even more better you can add some more spaces so I think so you get an idea for the how to uh, how to use two-dimensional array in C language that's very simple just uh, use the two rows and three columns and just want to show you one more thing here that I don't know why it's coming one two three four five and six and now you see if it's in the if it's in the good order uh, then you see that one and four are the columns and basically we have two rows and three columns if that four five is six is right just below to the one two three it shows you even in a in a good way so you can understand that we have two rows and three columns right just like the same with the first array is for the two rows the next one for the three columns i hope you guys can understand if you have any problem you just uh, comment me on my uh, channel so i want to work uh, i have more examples or i even have some projects on it so that's it for this video i want to see you for the next time thank you